the theory of integral living is for a person who wants to explore life, discover themselves, and find meaning in everything, every single thing. How can you make every situation better? And not from some positive, just, you know, think positive kind of perspective. No, I'm talking about how can you transform the situation itself through your perspective. And by doing that, you enjoy your life. Integral living is a way of living that I have developed, which is a system that poses the question, how would it look like if every single aspect of my life was connected and fed off each other and multiplied my evolution? This is for the people who are seeking to evolve at an exponential rate and using their experiences as catalysts for tuning into themselves and evolving their consciousness and gaining deeper awareness. The problem that people often have that gets them gets in the way of their progression is the linear thinking that society most that society uses most of the time. There's really 3D based thinking, which is thinking that everything is separate, thinking that a relationship is not related to career and getting and 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 continuing to develop that form of thinking to the point where one person then thinks that they're not ready for a relationship or they have to put their relationship aside so that they can pursue a career. And you see this time and time again, where when people say, I can't focus on my passions because I need to focus on work and I need to make money. For some reason, these things don't coincide. One does not lead to the other and you have to sacrifice one to get the other. This form of linear thinking is based on summation. The way we even schedule our calendars is blocks, right? We schedule a block out and that's when we do the designated task. And and so we get we live this life in terms of blocks. And and so when, when I'm a dancer, I'm just a dancer. And when I'm a philosopher, I'm just a philosopher. And when I'm a husband, I'm just a husband. I'm not able to these the people here that, that you see are not the same people. And the value that I get from one thing is not equivalent to each other. They, they, at one point, you can see that people derive more value from one thing, and so they choose to specialize in that. And from the start, me getting into spirituality and philosophy, I realized something huge, which was I connected to the absolute truth, and the absolute truth being the truth of the universe, which is that we are all connected, we are all one, and we are all a part of God, and we are also all God. And understanding this, this truth didn't just mean me being a hippie and and going out and 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 finding the the at one at oneness of, of the universe and being enlightened forever. I ha I have to ground this concept and present it to 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 my viewers so that they can be able to grab this absolute truth and apply it to relative truth because relative truth is where the game of life is played. And if you want to win at the, in the game of life. You have to be able to understand the way it works. And if you want, you have to understand the rules. And once you understand the rules, you can break the rules. And this is where I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to break the rules. We think life is summation when in reality it is about integration. Because if you see, if you see instead, if you, if you ask, how can I connect dance to spirituality? A lot of people in these two different spaces cannot see the connection. A lot of people who focus on just one of these things and don't have this awareness or intention cannot really see the connection. And, or even dance and psychology, or martial arts and dance, or, um, or YouTube and entrepreneurship. These things, these things are all areas and, and experiences and or containers that exist out there. And we often say that they're different, say that they're not equivalent. And in my life, what I have realized is that they actually feed off each other. Dance is spiritual and spirituality is a dance. And, and, and bam, it works. It works because once you seek out the integration, how can I integrate this thing called dance into my system? How can I integrate spirituality into my system? You are the source, you are the system. So think about it like that. 
And this allows you to gain a, 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 a deeper understanding of the essence of the thing that you are experiencing. You cut to the essence. You have to cut to the essence. You can't be living life or going through these experiences based off what the population has, the, the conception that the population has on these things. You go into the experience raw, you experience it the way people tell you it's supposed to be experienced, and then you experience it long enough or reflect long enough on it that you realize that it's not how people say it is. It is how you have experienced it and how your consciousness and your level of evolution and understanding has transformed it. Once you enter into a room or once you enter into a specific topic, you transform that room, you transform that topic, you transform the thing itself. Because once you come into contact with it, it you engage in a relationship with it. And that transforms both you, the person that's doing the work, and also the work itself. Because the work has now been done. So what I'm talking about here is remembering that you are the system. You are, you are the source. That's where I'm coming from. And I want you to bring that into relative truth. So as you go about your life, start thinking about how you can make things your own. How can you make your career your own? How can you make your relationship your own? How can you make um, your passions your own? For me, it has developed in a way where I find so much value when I contemplate on topics. When I bring the dance to my meditation, when I bring the martial arts to my meditation, when I bring the psychology to my meditation. When you get into this mindset of, of a contemplative approach to everything in life, you are then granted a gift called vision. With vision, you are able to see the lines of interconnectedness between everything, not just you and the people around you, but also you and the systems around you. So you understand that every system in some way connects to the other system. There's a whole ecosystem. There's levels, right? There's levels to this shit, right? And when you look at yourself, then you see that you become the primary connecting line. Through your perspective, you're able to see both things and marry them. Because you are the one that's observing it. And because you're in there observing both of these things at the same time, you have just made both of them connect and experience each other. So they become mirrors. And so and so once they become mirrors, you start getting so much creativity. Is what there's the essence of creativity right here. Being able to make the connections between two completely different things and, and then presenting a new perspective to the world, whether it be through arts or whether it be through writing or whether it be through whatever form you choose to express yourself, this is what creativity is. And this is where the conversation of synthesizers come in also, because a very large, a very big, a very big topic right now is the idea of the synthesizer. And the concept of the synth synthesizer is something that I learned about very early on in my in my journey uh, when I was reading Esoteric Psychology by Alice Bailey. She was talking about how we are all synthesizers. We all come into this life and we ourselves are systems that transform the environment around us. As we transform and elevate ourselves, we elevate the environments around us. And how do we elevate them? We elevate them through our perspective and through our understanding and through our knowing. As we get to know ourselves better, we go deep and we get deeper into these experiences. And we're not playing at the surface level anymore. We're playing at the essence of these things. And once we get to the essence, we can play around with them. We can, we can, we can pull the whole thing out and present it into a whole new light. And... So there's another thing where we also get into the, the perspective of the one person business model and why it's working also. Why is it working? What, how, why is Dan Coe's uh, concept of the one person business model where one man can create a six figure business, seven figure business all on his own through exploring his interests. What Dan Coe talks about 
is the idea that you can you don't have to niche down you don't have to specialize you don't have to follow the conventional advice which is choose one lane focus on that lane and just keep focusing on that don't don't expand don't explore don't experiment once you find what works keep doing that and i myself for a long time felt like that wasn't for me i knew that wasn't for me it was super hard because my natural proclivity is to go out into the world and to go experience and follow my heart keep on following your heart because if you do that you continue to find yourself in the world and you keep just creating from there but i was stuck i didn't do it and so now dan co presents the, the concept and then bam i'm like whoa it's there it's, it's it works the business model works you're able to expand you're able to explore and you're able to go out and even create a business around all of your interests right and so there's a model that works for business and there's also a model that works for creatives synthesizers right and this is why this is where integral living comes from if you want to, if you live integrally you begin to see over the years at least this is what i've seen over the years it's been over three years, four years since I left university. I graduated from my university. And from then on, I decided to not pursue a master's program or a PhD or a doctorate program. I started for psychology. I thought I was going to be a therapist. And I decided I was not going to do that because I wanted to create my own business. And I wanted to figure out how I could cr present a system to the, to the world that can help evolve people at scale and so since then i've explored my interests and and i found that as you explore your interests you start to get you start to find the meaning that they give you you have to look for the intrinsic value that things bring you this system of integral living will not work for you if you are constantly looking for external value if you're constantly looking for the money or if you're constantly looking for the achievements the accolades the labels if you are looking for that this is not going to work for you at all and what might work best for you if in terms of your idea of success will be for you to just specialize and do the one thing and and you'll be good the theory of integral living is for a person who wants to explore life discover themselves and find meaning in everything every single thing how can you make every situation better and not from some positive just you know think positive kind of perspective no i'm talking about how can you transform the situation itself through your perspective and by doing that you enjoy your life the way the way i've, I've seen it happen is it works throughout throughout my work i've applied it to my full-time job as a, as a busser right now i'm a, I'm a busser it works in psychology, it works in spirituality, it works in dance, it works in fitness, it works in relationships, it works in being a fa in fatherhood, it works in all these things that I'm involved in right now. I have all these things that I'm doing, right? I'm a father, I, ha I run a, a podcast on social dancing, I run a YouTube channel, which is the one you're watching, um, and I have a full-time job, and I'm planning on, on creating another podcast, I'm already working on it with my wife. But these five huge projects which within their own right could be a huge thing for somebody i'm doing them all very casually not casually in the sense that i don't, I don't take them seriously but more so i'm taking what i want to do which is i want to bring value to the world i want to be my highest self i want to explore and create and i'm choosing specific areas through which i want to express that and i'm not tying myself down <laughs> To one specific thing but as i'm working as and as time passes i'm able to create a system that is holistic and deep and the person who is able to enter any one of these rows can continue to go deeper and deeper and then they reach the center which is me telling them that the truth is within them right and then they can become synthesizers of their own and then they can pre pre present novel perspectives of their own so as you start developing yourself you start growing you start maturing as through this life of integration 
you begin to create self-sustaining systems for yourself, for the world. Because what is the main self-sustaining system that exists? It's you. You are the one. You are the one system that is constantly. Is you're the most efficient system out there. That's the way I see it. So if you think about it like that, you have to first refine yourself, find yourself, and once you do that, you can create even more systems that are that serve as little universes of your of yourselves. So one of the most blatant examples is that of having a child. When you have a child, you're creating a a life, right? And as you guide and help that child grow, that child develops and becomes his or her own person. And once that happens, you have planted a seed into the world which is self-operating and uh, and and self-sufficient, but it is it is also an aspect of yourself. And you've just multiplied yourself, right? <laughs> You multiply your teachings, your way, your way of being, your personality, your genes, all of that, right? That's one specific example. But another great example is business, as mentioned before. And so I created a, a, a successful podcast around social dancing that is making an impact where I've had conversation with artists, world-renowned artists in the field. And I'm, I'm sitting down with them and I'm having conversations and they're making an impact in the community. And we are we are most likely the number one podcast in the social dancing community. And that's huge. It's only been about almost a year now since I started it, right? And and also my relationship with my wife. I got got married, had a child all within one year of meeting her. Right? So this these insane I guess I don't want to call them accomplishments, but level ups in responsibility and also uh, in leverage are what I'm talking about. Once you gain this sense of or this ability to derive the most from experiences, when you don't see them as additions to your life, but more so integrations, you start allowing yourself to be transformed. It's like I consume something. It's like when I be, when I pick up a, here it is. This right here, the pen. This is going to be my, my example. Hopefully this helps. So when, if the pen were to be a topic or an experience in life, let's call it dance. Dance as in, as with, by itself exists, right? And we all, everybody has a conception of what this is, right? Everybody has a conception that this is a pen. We put it to the side. If I were to tell you what a pen is, you would picture it. You might say it was that pen, or you might picture your own pen, your favorite pen, or the pen that you had when you were five years old, or the, or the pen that your first love wrote your first the, the love letter with, whatever. We all have a conception of what a pen is. But it takes time for you to get to know how to write and use this instrument, right? It takes time for you to, you to develop a relationship with the pen. You have to speak to it. You have to touch it. You have to feel it. You have to see what's what's the best position. What what do you like? How do you like to to interact with it? How does your body react to this? Maybe you don't like this pen. Maybe you want to get a different one. It's still a pen, but now you are choosing. You're having preferences through time. You you develop something. You evolve, right? And once you have mastered it in a way, once you can write. Once you achieve the purpose that society told you this was for, you can transcend that. Now this can become whatever you want it to be, right? It becomes an extension of your body. Now I'm not just me with my hands, I'm me with a pen. And who is me with a pen? Well, me with a pen is a writer. But then me without a pen, well, I can still write, I can still speak. But the point I'm trying to make is that this brings value to me. This has become me now. When I'm touching this, it is me, and I am also it. And so I express, I act differently when I have this in, in, this within me, right? And that's the idea here. How can you use dance, spirituality, um, philosophy, psychology, business, relationships? How can you use all these different aspects of life? How can you become one with them? 
experience them, transcend them, and then create something entirely different. They're, ex they're extensions of me right now. As a dancer, as a husband, as a father, there, there's, there's extensions out there in the cosmos right now. And the more I continue to get deeper and deeper into these experiences and into integrate, integrating them into myself, the more value I bring to the world. And also, the more I expand myself, my consciousness is growing and expanding as I continue to experiment and consume and synthesize. <laughs> That's the idea here. <sighs> so, for you who are listening, think about how can you take whatever's going on in your life and make it yours. How can you make your life your own? That's the game here. Once you integrate, it becomes you. Once you integrate life, you are life, right? And what does that mean? Well, that's for you to explore, right? But for me, it means everything. I am everything. I am infinite. I am everywhere. That is life. And so this will, this will be this will be the time for you to to begin to look into who you are. I think the the basic premise. How do you even begin? This is so high. This is so high. Level. I I even find myself like struggling a bit to explain. But it's it's okay. I'm, we'll get better. We'll, we'll get better and we'll continue to integrate the system, right? But this is the way I would start. If you're thinking, how can I become? How be? How can I start living integrally? Where you need to start now is to begin to think about how you can raise your own consciousness, start meditating, start getting to know yourself. And as you get to know yourself, you'll find the things that you want to do, that you want to explore, that are only for you. And then you can start building your own system. You can start generating more of yourself and expanding yourself and connecting with yourself. So if you want to learn more about that, Make sure to click on the following video right here and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.